What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to 303 Streets. Today we're working on the GTR, do an oil change, and I'm going to just show you really quick how to do it, what you're going to need, and everything. So, uh, let's get down into the car, because that's where you're going to have to start. And my car's been lowered, so I had to put it up, or I had to make like little ramps in order to jack it up. And where you're going to jack it up, hold on a second, is right back here on that crossbar if you can see from underneath um so yeah jack it up there i put jack stands on each side on the right on the left and i always put a few extra up just in case the car slips off of those but when you jack it up and put it on the side there's two little grooves um well i guess one groove on each side to put the little hook in and make sure that it's in there so next uh, you're going to take off the undercarriage which is right there if you're doing a filter if you're not doing a filter just on uh, there's a little cover right there undo that and then you'll be able to get to the drain plug and the drain plug if you're just going to do that is a uh, size 15 um yeah and that's just what i used to get it off um it was on there really tight so i actually was also using i think a size 14 wrench and that's probably what it really is it's probably a 14 and that's why the 15 wasn't working that great so um anyways i use a size 14 wrench and as you can see fits in there good so that's what i'd recommend size 14 um that's if you're gonna you know just do the oil if you're gonna do the whole thing with the filter you're gonna need to remove the undercarriage there's gonna be uh, quite a few of the let's see what size this is size 10 socket that's what i used to get all the undercarriage stuff off and there's going to be quite a few of them because you have it goes right there there it's gonna be like three or four in the front three or four in the back and then there's gonna be side clips um and there's where you can see my oil drain out it right from there and then there's my filter so i'm doing this setup right now and it was working great um problem was i double stacked and i was getting too much in a rush because i wanted to drain both of them at the same time as you see the oil is draining still from the, the plug or the pan technically and then there's the filter so i'm going to finish taking out the filter really quick and i was letting that drain so i want to make a mess there's the rest of the oil for that so it was pretty dirty um it needed to be changed but like i said i'm doing like a whole thing so i'm gonna wipe everything down really quick um the rest of the oil is drained like i said i jacked it up spilled a lot of oil because the pan fell over um i'd recommend if you have like a big one like this um just try to position it to where you know you can start with the plug and it's gonna you know aim all that's gonna come out like way over here um so be ready to adjust move it back and once it gets to just dripping you can start uh doing the filter so the filter sorry about that that i'm going to use is going to be this one a k and n uh, my fingers got it all dirty because i was touching it here's the box so if you go to the store and want to get this one this is what i'm using uh just a performance one i really like k and n all around and the best part about it is it comes with a little uh socket part to where or wrench to where you can uh use that to tighten it and untighten it. So here's the one I'm using. One inch. It's a Craftsman. Uh, fits on there nice and good. As you can see. So I'm gonna use that and then I'll put everything back. I'm gonna let everything finish dripping for a little bit and then uh, yeah, I'll just put the filter on. You're gonna need six quarts of Zero W40. I'm using full synthetic. Uh, that's just what I like to use. So that's what you're gonna need and then yeah, just put everything back together clean up if you spilled like I did all over the place And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope that covered everything Like I said pretty easy job um, Two jack stands because I plan on doing the front and the rear differential and then the transmission uh, Fluid too. I'm gonna do all the transmission oil and stuff so this is gonna just pretty much get the works done. I'm trying to get it ready for next year mainly. Um, I need to adjust the height and stuff again, but yeah, super simple, super easy, really easy. Um, if you're actually curious about the rear differential, 
I might just point that out really quick. I'm trying to see where is that at. There's the plug for it. That one right there. Right there. So that's gonna be the plug to drain your rear differential. And then the plug is up and over. I guess technically it's that top left one. Or it might be higher to fill it again. It's on the side. Yeah, it's over there back on the side. You can't really see it, but it's in that back left side. So that's where you'd fill it again. And that's where you drain it from. So, um, yeah, that's how you do the rear differential too. Drain it right here and then get the side and bolt up there on the top left. The shadows and then you just replace that. But, um, yeah, anyways, like I said, this is just uh, doing some maintenance. So, you know, that's how you change the oil on the GTR, you know, and then, of course, come back up here, fill it up, start the engine, and then make sure that the line's, you know, good on the oil mark to make sure you didn't overfill or underfill it so yeah hopefully you found this video helpful um like subscribe i just try to make it quick and simple because you know it is just a nissan so um it's not too get difficult it's not like the lambo to where you have to drain it in the front and the rear for the oil and then put 10 quarts of oil in start it and then continuously fill it which is pretty annoying so um yeah but gtr pretty simple pretty basic not too hard the hardest part is probably just getting all the undercarriage uh, taken off. And like I said, luckily I'm ripping all of it out because I'm going to do everything underneath it, all the fluids and do a complete flush and just got a cob tuner in and stuff. So yeah, just working on the GTR. And like I said, there's the tuner over there, just getting ready to tune it and maybe do an E85 tune. So hopefully you like this video, like, subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.